In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve some pitch shifting effects using Pro Tools Automation and Melodyne. So what I have here is a EDM style track. And the section we're looking at is the breakdown and build before the inevitably brutal and savage drop. A common thing you'll see in EDM style tracks. Let me just play you what I have so far. So other than the riser that you heard there, we also have this E note being banged out rhythmically throughout the section. Let me solo that for you. So it's not adding much other than a rhythmical component, but one common technique that's used is to pitch shift that note over time throughout the section, which provides dissonance and tension, which is relieved when the drop hits. Okay, so in order to achieve this, I'm going to fire up Melodyne. Next, we need to get the audio into Melodyne by clicking the transfer button and then just playing it back. I'm going to keep this soloed for now. Okay, so now that's all in Melodyne. What you'll see is we can actually treat the individual notes and move them around and pitch shift those however we like. However, we're not gonna get the smooth transition that we want this way. Right, it's gonna be very stepped. So I'm gonna undo those. And what we're gonna do rather is to use pitch shifting over here. So we can set that to plus 12 semitones or minus 12 semitones. If you right click, we can actually go to 24. So what we can do is we can automate this over time. So the control option command click doesn't appear to work in Melodyne to be able to enable that for automation. So we can go over to the automation window over here and choose pitch, add. Okay, I think we're done with the Melodyne window for the moment. We can just do all our automation in Pro Tools now. So if we go to our track view selector, and we'll see Melodyne at the bottom. We go to the pitch automation playlist. We can now just come in here and draw the automation if we wish. So I'm gonna use the grabber tool, draw the first break point down there, and I'll draw another one over here and maybe we'll pitch bend it all the way up. So we could go the full 24 semitones, or maybe we'll be a little more subtle. Maybe we'll just try one octave. So we could build all the way up, or we could do it gradually, or we could have it drop down right before the end. So in that case, we could do it like this. And have it drop down two octaves towards the end. Let's bring back, let's turn the solo off and play it in the track. And that's how you can do it in Melodyne. And obviously, you're not limited to synths. You could also do this with vocals and a myriad of other instruments. Well, that's it for now. Feel free to check out more tips and look for my Pro Tools for Game Audio class at Paramind Training on. Very much like to thank Paramind for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool. And until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. 
What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.